Hi, Valiant community. My name is Lindsay Berg. I am a three-time Olympian, two-time silver medalist. For this week's spotlight, we have Mele Koral Blagojevic. Mele is an outside hitter for Mizuno Long Beach and will be graduating in 2023. And we can't wait to see what college she decides to go to. All right. Hi, Mele. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for being here. Let's get straight to these questions. Talk to me about your favorite volleyball memory. Um, man, uh, my favorite volleyball memory would probably have to be winning our D1 CIF championship this past November with uh, my high school team. That was just an amazing experience. Um, my team had been wanting to win for the past few years um, and they were so close always in the semis but like couldn't really pull through um, and then we were finally like all right like we made it to the finals um, and just like the whole atmosphere in the gym like the crowd um, just the love we had for one another that game like it was just it was so fun and then winning was like like the icing on top of the cake <laughs> I know winning is the best and I'm sure you're gonna have so many more of those uh, moments in your career. All right, talk to me about your pregame ritual or routine. Okay, pregame. Um, I normally always listen to music before games. It just it gets me hype. Um, but then wherever I am, I always have to have some kind of handshake with a teammate. So um, normally it's like everybody on the court I have a handshake with um but yeah just like a little like handshake or sometimes like I've done like super elaborate crazy ones that like just get me like in a good loose mood good okay if you didn't play your position what position would you want to play oh man um I'd probably want to be a setter um because I watch a lot of volleyball and the setter is the one that like you know, gets to set up every play, you know? And so if you like have the capacity to be like amazing and run a bunch of trick plays with your like hitters and all this stuff, I just feel like that'd be so fun. <laughs> all right, so be nice to your setters now that you said that. <laughs> all right, what was the first sport you ever played? Um, the first, first sport I ever played was softball. Yeah, I started in softball when I was about four-ish, um, and then I played soccer for a little bit, but everybody plays soccer when they're little. And then I got into volleyball around seven-ish. And haven't looked back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, if you could have dinner with anyone in the world, who would it be and why? Dinner with anybody in the world. Does it, do they have to be alive? No. Okay, I would probably say if they passed away, it'd probably be Kobe um, because watching his news documentary like a long time ago when it came out um, and sort of living the life I live now, um, it's crazy to see how different the lifestyle of athletes are versus like someone who doesn't play sports um, and him being one of the greats um, it's just crazy to see like how many people really didn't understand his sacrifice and the way he lived. So I think it'd be interesting to have that conversation. For sure. All right. A hobby that you've picked up since quarantine started. Okay. Um, I've been cooking a lot more in the house, um, making dinner for my family, just stuff like that. Um, and then I also picked up juggling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah it was like so random we were just like talking about it and my grandma was like yeah like it's apparently it's like good for like your brain stimulus and so like we just kept like practicing and now I can juggle <laughs> I don't know <laughs> there we go hand-eye coordination as well I think it will be yeah <laughs> okay do you have a go-to Netflix show or Hulu Ooh. or any of those channels yeah, we've definitely been on Netflix and Disney Plus a lot this past quarantine. Um, my go-to Netflix show is probably that 70s show. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. And last question, but definitely not the least. Who is your favorite player on the national team? On our national team? Yes. Okay. Um, my favorite player on the national team is probably Jordan Larson or Annie Drews. Amazing. All right, Malay. Well, we thank you for sharing with the Volleyon community. Wishing you the best of luck moving forward in your career. Thank, thank you. you so much.